Hello. Hello, everybody. Hey. Hi, all. Hey. Hey. Um, and uh, welcome to our audience for another session of the Pitch and QA. I'm Laurentiu Gentry, I'm the Chief Business Officer at Sidlink. And I'm happy today to uh, have the co founder and the lead investor of Smart Huts, uh, one uh, young startup uh, with uh, big aspiring dreams. Um, so, Jon Gavilescu, the CEO uh, and the founder. No, 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 no. My colleague is the CEO. Is I'm a managing uh, director. All right. We are together. I'm the I'm one of the co-founders. Uh, Dano, uh, partner in Founders Bridge, is the lead uh, investor. And Hi, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for the invite, Lawrence. Thank you guys for being here. And um, before we go uh, very formal and, and uh, do a presentation and a pitch, I'd like to ask you uh, simply, what's the story behind Smart Hats? Uh, how did you guys start it? And then how did you leave you? Is there any uh, story behind this? Well, how much time do you have, Laurentiu? <laughs> Come again? How much time do you have so that we know? Well, uh, let's, let's pour a beer. Okay, uh, I will um, let you make the introductions and then we'll pick it from there. Okay, so um, me and Christian, uh, we uh, go back a long time. We've met in 2008 while I was working at Siemens. I was a sales manager at Siemens uh, selling uh, uh, equipment for uh, building technology, security system and uh, automation. Christian uh, just uh, has just started his uh, company, Nedlink Systems. I was uh, starting to sell uh, products to him and to, uh, to his clients. And uh, after a while, uh, I was uh, beginning to be more and more involved in, uh, in the, what he was doing, more uh, interested in uh, what he was trying to do. And in uh, 2015, we, uh, I, uh, I decided to join his company as a partner and uh, to start uh, and starting to do, let's say, uh, great things together. <clears throat> he has started uh, the company as a provider of uh, IT solutions, IT support. And uh, <clears throat> when I uh, joined, we started to offer also uh, automation and security. And uh, we realized that we need to, actually we, we always dream of having uh, uh, one product that we can sell it to multiple partners uh, because all of our uh, clients or uh, either multinational company or Romanian companies that uh, uh, had the uh, high quality standards we managed to, to sell to them uh, high quality products, uh, high quality sol solutions, and they started to demand also software solutions. So we, uh, we've made a couple of uh, interesting uh, software, uh, GPS uh, software for uh, one big uh, company from Romania with a, a big fleet, uh, software uh, for uh, property management, um, um, ERP for a production uh, company and <clears throat> when we made that uh, uh, property management software we discussed we spent uh, have, uh, a lot of time with that uh, client in 2014 and we realized that uh, there's a huge market in this area if we can integrate with uh, IoT and you know, if we can uh, if we can digitalize uh, the processes in the, in the real estate, we have something. So we uh, wrote a project. Uh, we started to look for uh, um, private financing, but we were asking too much money, uh, half a million euro. We received in 2017 uh, uh, EU grant. Uh, half a million, what we needed, and we create uh, we created the uh, smart hats. Now, the project that we are selling now is a part of uh, what we created. 
we are selling at this moment only the uh, module for uh, uh, field teams. We have our product that we have created is much bigger. Uh, it includes uh, an IoT gateway with a patent. Uh, and uh, also it's a bigger module with, uh, for, for the, the real estate. So right now we are, uh, let's say, profitable. We are uh, growing like 60% uh, uh, per year. We launched publicly the product in uh, January uh, 2020, like uh, three months before uh, the pandemic started, and uh, we are uh, we are growing, I think, pretty well because we are uh, in our market. It's sort of a blue ocean, and I will come back uh, with a product. What it does actually. The product is a uh, software for uh, companies that have field teams, that have uh, employees on the field. Okay. Our product is designed especially for uh, mid-sized companies that have between 10 and 250 employees on the field. All right. Because most of the products that are built at this moment are either built for uh, small companies because it's much simpler to build uh, a simple product and just uh, throw a lot of money into the, uh, the advertising. You don't care about onboarding, about uh, implementation, or focus on the high-end market like like uh, SAP and uh, Oracle and uh, Archibus is doing. Because for the high-end market, you have a, a, a person that is taking care of the implementation, and this way you make sure like you won't fail with the uh, with the implementation. Because of this, the mid-sized market was uh, is uh, like a, a virgin market. It was difficult. They tried to build it, but it was uh, uh, the, the workflows of these companies is very diverse, and it's very difficult to make a product that it's uh, easy to adopt because they don't have a lot of money. It's easy to uh, to customize it for each workflows. And uh, it, it has to be easy also to create uh, documents, uh, the completion documents and all the uh, forms in the, in the software. So yeah. until very recently, this, uh, this was not possible, but we created this software. Uh, as I told you that is part of a, a larger uh, software and our software, it's uh, what they call it, uh, Field Service Management Software, FSM. Yeah, like you, 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 you've stolen my, my thought about, you know, if, if I would have to explain about your product to a yes. five-year-old, what would I tell him, like, in a short sentence? Field then, Service what? Management Software. Excuse me again? Field Service Management, FSM. Yeah. All right. Service management software. This is this is what you will find it in the Gartner um, category. I heard. All right. Well, um, let's advance a bit, um, and you know, because you already gave us a bit of um, of your solution in the market. So I guess um, it would be a good time to to uh, to go with the pitch deck, and yeah. then uh, we'll go back to question and answers, and I will. Ask, leave you about a couple of things um, about his reasons uh, to, to invest in, in smart huts. So, uh, Jan, uh, whenever you're ready, uh, yep. feel free to take it from here and uh, let's share with our investors your pitch deck. Okay, so. Uh, By the way, before you start, um, to uh, let know everybody, in the case that you have questions, feel free to uh, put them in the QA section of, of the Zoom. And we'll uh, definitely uh, answer them at the end of the pitch. Thank you. Okay, so I'm uh, sharing right now uh, the the pitch deck. It's okay. You can see it. Yep. Okay. So uh, smart hats helps you get the job done. So the problem, all over the world, small and medium uh, field service companies cannot use the existing field management software solutions. 
efficiently or they don't have one yet. So most of these companies that have between 10, this is arbitrary, can be uh, some of them eight, some of them, uh, um, but this is how we, we, we define our market. 10 and 250 field employees still use this combination, instant messaging, WhatsApp, WhatsApp groups, uh, phone calls, spreadsheet, and very important paper documents to manage their field activity. So it's nothing centralized. It's everything, uh, let's say, in all these uh, places. The solution, Smart Hats. It's a highly configurable software, a low code software, that is needed in order for these companies to be able to customize the flows and informations by themselves with very uh, few guidance from us to show and hide sections and make some information mandatory to complete. The main problem with, uh, with a field software and with a software that is made for uh, field employees is that it's very difficult to make a software for people working on the field. If you, if you don't show them exactly the information they need, they will, they will, they will uh, come back to you and say, hey, you pay me to do this job, not to uh, see uh, to work in a software. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason that 80%, and this is a huge number, 80% of the global workforce is working on the field, is deskless, but only less than 1% of, of the software uh, in, in invested by the VC is made for this, for this type of uh, employees. More than 60% of these companies don't have any solution because the, the software should be uh, very friendly, very easy to use by the employees. And because these companies don't have a lot of money, it has to be very easy to adopt. So if it doesn't meet all of these criteria, you are either on the high end or on the low end. <clears throat> so this is us, an easy to adopt field service management software specifically designed for companies that have between 10 and 250 employees or contractors working on the field. So how we managed to create this solution, we, uh, make, we uh, created a hybrid between modern low code functionality and field service uh, sector specific needs. So templates for each vertical. <coughs> Timing, <coughs> this is very important. The field service management market, global market right now is at a turning point. There's a strong digitalization trend in the sector and field service management companies that are using modern solution are disrupting their competitors. We are seeing, uh, we are looking at our clients right now. Uh, so our clients that are using the, the software uh, have an increased margin. Uh, they, have, uh, they have more trust from their uh, uh, clients and more and more the clients of our clients of the field management, uh, uh, field service management companies are requesting to have a solution where they can put the request. Why is that? Also, because there's a, a part needed prediction. This is, uh, I, and we will go in the next slide to see what are the verticals for our software. So you need prediction, you need uh, optimization of the schedule, you need, uh, or you, you need also prediction of the work duration. And also this is a, a, a way to, to create and to take on the request conversational AI. As you can see, it's, lot, it, it's a lot related to the AI and to the AI uh, uh, being more and more uh, available for this market, which was not available. That's, that's why it's important, uh, the timing. And also another driver is the smartphone um, adoption. Uh, there's, a, there's an increase for uh, in, uh, at our customers, uh, we have customers that have said, okay, this is very good because uh, when we will buy this software, we will also uh, manage to get from the uh, 
management smartphones from the people working on the field. And I'm talking about uh, uh, people uh, that are doing uh, cleaning jobs, people from uh, uh, security, people from uh, uh, technical, uh, doing technical jobs, all sorts of fields, all sorts of verticals. Very important. Our software, as opposed to the other software, was designed as a mobile first. So we are, uh, we when we design the software, we design it as a uh, mobile first with a native mobile app. And very important, you can show them the fields. So, for example, one company needs uh, uh, five fields for the employees. Another needs uh, seven fields. Uh, and of, out of the seven fields, maybe uh, in the um, they, they need location, uh, uh, spare parts, uh, start date, uh, end date, uh, photos, they need maybe a photo to make it uh, mandatory to complete uh, your order. So it's very important to, to, to set the or the work order and the form that where the field worker are working specifically for their needs. So this is the attraction. <coughs> uh, our monthly recurring uh, revenue are, uh, are uh, at this figure, um, 15, uh, over 15,000 uh, euros. And we have total revenue, including uh, supplementary services of almost uh, 300,000K, uh, starting from the launch date. Among our customers, as you can see, there are also big companies, uh, AFI, which is going to expand also uh, uh, the solution. We have uh, tomorrow uh, a visit with uh, a potential customer to uh, AFI. Uh, you can see companies from uh, different uh, verticals. So this is a security company. This is a... Uh, um, a service and uh, maintenance company for uh, uh, all the top players uh, from the Horeca sector. They are working from uh, for uh, McDonald's, for uh, KFC, for uh, Pizza Hut. This is a, a large facility management company, which uh, 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 that have a, a very interesting. Uh, um, uh, Use case, they are mainly, uh, mainly a, a cleaning company with uh, 700 people. Also, this is a large uh, uh, service uh, uh, facility management company. Uh, this is a factory. Uh, this is another uh, security installer. This is uh, one of our largest customers. It's a, a recycling company. Uh, another security, uh, security installer working for, uh, for the state, for the government. <laughs> airports, so we have lots of verticals. And this is uh, the facility management uh, um, that we're using from uh, uh, large multinational companies. So as you can see, there are lots of verticals, including one company that is owned by, by the state, uh, state and they wanted uh, a lot to, to uh, be digitalized. So it's, uh, it's in, including the Romanian state and uh, uh, companies owned by the state, they want to be, to, to be digital. <clears throat> Target market. So this is uh, what I was telling you, verticals. We uh, put like this, uh, it's, it's, it can be used by the employees and by the contractors. So uh, we, can, we have service providers for uh, HVAC, electrical, fire and security, garage doors, plumbing, elevator, escalator, etc. So this is a, a technical use case. Facility management it, uh, can include also uh, service uh, providers and cleaning can include also, uh, um, I don't know, um, um, firefighters and, uh, and uh, security guards, cleaning, gardening and pool maintenance. And this is a uh, very, uh, is growing uh, a lot right now, mobile healthcare. It's <coughs> uh, has not taken off here in uh, Romania, 
but it's very trendy in the US. And mainly all the trends that are uh, catching up in the US are uh, also uh, going to start here. And lots of companies are, are using uh, our software as a contractor management. So office and um, residential buildings, as you saw, uh, AFI. And uh, we are also uh, very close to sign. Uh, they, uh, they stop uh, for, uh, during, uh, uh, due to the pandemic to uh, some residential uh, buildings, production facilities, retail, <coughs> retail chain, hospitality. We had some contracts also in the hospitality, some uh, hotels and uh, uh, some uh, fast food chains. They, would, uh, they were uh, affected by the pandemics, but they will come back. Airports and railway station. At this moment, we have uh, the use case uh, only with one company that is using this for uh, the airport and the railway station, but they are uh, actively selling uh, our solution to, to, the, to the airports. In more and more biddings and uh, auction in Romania, but also all over Europe, it is uh, requested to have this type of uh, solution, to have a field service management software where clients can put very easily their uh, request and have a traceability from uh, the start of the request until the finalization. Okay, market size, very important. According to Gartner, 3 billion per year. Uh, that includes cloud subscription, software licenses, and maintenance. Growth drivers, uh, affordable uh, mobile technology, high growth uh, also outside the uh, North America and the uh, um, European Union. And uh, because uh, all the field service providers, they are focusing a lot on using this type of software to disrupt competition. So more and more companies are using this software to, to have an edge of over their uh, competitors. The roadmap, uh, beginning of next year, we plan to start selling in the CE uh, Central and Eastern Europe region through our partners in the direct sales. We started already uh, uh, to prepare for this. We uh, have a, an agreement and uh, a contract signed with uh, a very large company with presence in uh, five countries in uh, Central and Eastern Europe to implement uh, our solution at, uh, at their company and also to sell it actively uh, to other uh, companies. In June, we plan to open direct sales market in UK and uh, with the help of uh, Liveu, but also to other partners in the Nordics. <clears throat> and uh, this is uh, where the main point of interest is, uh, is for us, official launch in the internet. So we will prepare all the videos, all the uh, tutorials and the onboardings, uh, tutorials, to launch it in the internet. And this is where the uh, high growth will happen. We want to be recognized uh, as a major online, on, on the major online software uh, review platform as an important player in the field service management software category. Uh, by the end of uh, uh, 2023, and reach 1.85 million uh, euro uh, annual uh, recurring revenue by the uh, end of um, 2023. And by the end of uh, uh, 2026, to uh, be included as a niche player and uh, further uh, recognized as a visionary global player in the Garner field service management uh, software category and reach 8 million euro uh, annual recurring uh, revenue. These are our uh, direct, direct competitors. <clears throat> revenue model, we are a SaaS company. Our uh, main revenue stream is monthly uh, user fee. 
we change we charge a monthly fee uh, 25 euro per month per user for uh, the regular business uh, uh, model and corporate for uh, uh, for the high end for the enterprise and corporate user we have uh, uh, basically a, a standard uh, minimum of uh, 10 accounts so the minimum uh, uh, fee is 250 euro per month per company or 500 euro per month per company we also can offer uh, premium support plans for uh, bigger companies with better uh, SLAs and other uh, benefits and we uh, we have paid trainings and uh, guidance and uh, we plan to set up a, a, let's say an academy with uh, certification and uh, and uh, trainings and webinars <clears throat> the investment terms uh, valuation uh, 2.5 million euros funding target is 140,000 uh, euros recommitted money for the from the lead investors and i will talk it's very important that we have this exact uh, combination of uh, lead investor so we're starting with uh, uh, leave you and uh, but let's go back uh, afterwards to this this is very important uh, this is actually what makes the difference between us uh, succeeding and us let's say succeeding but on a smaller scale uh, pre-committed money 43000 uh, uh, euro uh, from uh, from the lead investors available on silving 100000 euros price per share as you can see 250 so a bit about uh, our uh, lead investors leave you you know it he uh, he's a partner in founders bridge a serial entrepreneur and angel investor he's doing a follow up uh, of uh, after his uh, his initial investment of uh, 30000 uh, euros very important Liviu has serial businesses uh, he has uh, uh, businesses uh, successful in romania but also in the nordics which are very uh, is a very competitive market mihai guran is the former uh, vp of sales at b defender he's helping us with a sales strategy and uh, Stefan Botezatu is he's the manager uh, managing partner at the uh, uh, boutique uh, law firm uh, that is helping uh, large multinational companies and uh, startups that want to go, to grow fast so this is our team and uh, we are a team of eight people at this moment uh, uh me and christian and uh, also uh, the guys from the development team and our vision we want to offer the field people a software that makes their job easier of course to be included uh, as an niche pair but this is actually what what we want to do these people have been uh, left behind by the whole the digitalization trend and it's they are disconnected with what's happening in the, uh, in the office and it makes their job uh, it's it's harder to work it's when you are uh, telling people what to do over the phone over whatsapp you tend to tend to forget uh, some things i i wrote here some uh, benefits and i uh, i can come back later so this is us maybe i hope it was I don't know, clear. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. It was very comprehensive and, and congratulations for setting up the business and, and uh, taking you off. And um, good, good luck moving forward. Um, these <coughs> good customers on your, under your belt and uh, some, some good, uh, good, good stuff for your business. Um, now, before we go into, we already start, uh, we got some questions. Um, I'd like to leave you first to, uh, um, say a few words, uh, introduce yourself, Liviu. You. Uh, Yon gave us a, a, a bit of context about you guys, but I uh, would appreciate if you could give us more context about you, how you met uh, Yon and the team, and uh, eventually what, what made you invest in, in the business. 
Hi everyone, uh, thanks for having me here and thank you Yon, for your presentation. Um, as um, you already mentioned, uh, I'm a serial entrepreneur, uh, angel investor and partner in a VC fund head headquartered in Stockholm. Um, I made my first businesses in outsourcing. Uh, I go actually back with Yon way back since college, we were yes. in college actually. <laughs> And uh, I met uh, him and his uh, his partner uh, early last year um, during an acceleration program that I was mentoring. Uh, they were by far uh, the most impressive uh, uh, team Thanks that a I lot. saw there. Oh, really? Yes. Um, out of the many startups that we uh, we selected, um, I was impressed by what they were doing and by the magic that they have between them and also with other uh, other. Um, people um <laughs> nice funny one. thing is that the same impression that they made on me they may do on everyone else that i introduced to them um <laughs> i you know at some point uh, when we started working together um i tried you know uh, um, install my kit of you know growing a business and uh, one among the first things we did was you know uh, acquire a, a sales consultant uh, the, the minute he worked with them for, for like two workshops, he said, I'm in. So this is how, how we have Mihai Guran on board. Uh -huh. uh, I introduced him to um, our legal team, to our law firm. And the minute uh, Stefan worked with them, he said, I'm in. So this is why we have Stefan on board. Yes. Uh, uh, I even introduced him, you know, to, 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 to vendors of different types of services. Like we went to someone that I know from way back uh, about, you know, acquiring sales leads from them. And the sales manager that wanted to sell us the lead yes. said, I'm going to sell your product to my clients. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this magic, I'm, I'm sure that if you guys stick around long enough, you will see it uh, working on, on, on you. And I'm talking now to the, to the potential investors that are on, on, on your platform. Um, so apart from, from the fact that these guys are amazing, their product is, is uh, uh, at the right time, in the right place. Uh, it's not only uh, a part of an, of an industry that is growing uh, on an aggregate measure to about 20% in the next 10 years, but it's right there on the right spot when an industry is going to be digitalized. Uh, sooner or later, and rather sooner than later, this will be digitalized. And they address a plethora of, of smaller niches or verticals uh, that have not gone through this, this process of, of uh, digitalization yet. And I think this is the great uh, uh, potential that lies ahead of, of smart huts. And this is why I invested in the first place. And this is why I'm actually increasing my, my share now. I'm not just following up on my invest, following on my investment. Um, I'm also increasing my, my share in, in uh, smart huts because I have seen them deliver. Since, since we started, we, they, they did amazing steps forward. Uh, we managed to, to uh, Recategorize ourselves in field service manage, uh, management uh, ser field service management systems. Uh, we set up a vision for five years. Uh, we set up a sales strategy. We repositioned our our beachhead market. Uh, uh, we found two other investors that uh, uh, you know coincidentally just followed on board with our vision and, and because they liked the chemistry that they saw. So we, we did a lot of things, and and this is what. So the fact that they delivered, they over delivered on what they promised. This is what made me uh, follow up and, and also increase my, my investment in, in smart huts. So this is, this is your typical startup that uh, I know it doesn't look sexy because it's yeah field service management, but it is a tremendous, tremendous potential if you spend enough time uh, looking at this vertical. And I hope you do that because it would be a shame to pass up on this. Yeah. So, so it sounds to me, Libby, that that uh, something that it, it catches the eye of the potential customer is is the product. So yeah. They get a wow moment when. Yeah. Well, Laurentio, uh, how should I say? So, our potential clients, they they know their business very well, obviously, but they also know what's lacking and w yeah. what they they need to do. They're all looking for a way forward, right? And uh, not only that, that um, not only that, uh, um, there are a lot of verticals. But for instance, in the room that you're sitting, there are at least five, at least five things that need maintenance, right? Those pipes above you in the background, they need maintenance. The uh, heating, the ventilation, the air conditioning, everything they have, the electric system in that room, even the uh, uh, the access key system, they need maintenance. 
if there's a coffee vending machine in the lobby, that needs not only maintenance, but also restaffing all the time. And this the floor is to be digitalized. Cleaning. Yeah, this needs to be digitalized. And, and uh, I know that you, if you looked at the, at the business plan and also on, on, on the pitch that, that uh, Jon just finished, there's a, there's a slide with uh, different competitors. We're actually competing. That, that our biggest competitor is not one of those in the list. The, our biggest competitor is probably WhatsApp or, or Microsoft Excel yes. or, or, or okay. even some, some physical agenda where, where, where bosses write what, what. Yes, it's true. Yeah, yeah. So we're competing with them. <clears throat> it sounds to me that you guys have a, a product that, that, you know, if, if it creates a wow impact into the, uh, the, the potential customer. It, it would probably sell pretty quickly. So I'm just curious, uh, and we got you know a question: um, How yes. what's the sales cycle for you guys? <clears throat> yeah, I have a question. Uh, also asking me uh, about this uh, the sales cycle. So the sale uh, goes like this at this moment because I'm, we are selling in Romania only in Romania, doing only direct sale. So I'm <clears throat> we have a uh, Let's say we have some partners, but I will go, I will focus only on the cold calling uh, part. So we are doing cold calling. We have a list of uh, uh, those uh, uh, 6,500 companies uh, that we are uh, contacting one by one, basically uh, decision maker. And uh, the average time I have this question uh, asked, from the moment of the first contact and uh, until uh, uh, asking me until the end of the the sales is uh, basically I will if if I count as uh, the end of the sales signing of the contract so is uh, an average of uh, four to six uh, weeks so this is uh, an average can take uh, uh, longer can take shorter yeah. it depends. What's, what, what's important to add here, I think, Lorenzo, if I may, um, uh, as you've seen in our business plan and also on the presentation, uh, we try to address other markets um, online. And this, you know, we're all looking at, at uh, no friction onboarding, right? No touch onboarding. And this is what they're trying to do. Some others are already trying to do this, like upkeep.com. Uh, but this is the one of the scaling factors that 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 will will come in as a success to us. This is how we're going to approach various markets, and we're going to double that with with you know boots on uh, boots on the ground. Yes. Um, this would be um, other than the region that we're in right now. Uh, at some point, the Nordics, obviously, because of our 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 uh, connections there and and UK as well. Um, this will be also uh, uh, on par with uh, selling to partners. Uh, this is another thing that we, we did. So, so these guys, even before I met them, these guys uh, uh, would, would find the partner at every uh, company that they went to. Everyone wanted to sell, sell them. They even got an offer to be bought off before they even did everything. Anyway. Yes, yes. So they, they, they got an offer from a strategic partner. So not, not, not a financial investor, but a strategic partner. They wanted to buy them. Uh, and uh, thank God I was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is, of course, a joke. Uh, both Yon and Christy had bigger dreams than this sell at the beginning, right? Uh, so we, we embarked on, on a journey that's uh, a bit longer, and uh, we hope uh, it will continue the, those charts that you see in our presentation. By the way, those charts are actual revenue that happened already. It's not a projection. All right. Well, um, it, it sounds to me like if you're going into more markets, obviously you'll 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 face, um, and especially as you go west, you'll you'll face stronger competitors. Mm -hmm. And we already have two questions from the audience related to that matter. So a simple question is: Why would a potential client choose your solution instead of going with a competitor? Um, and like, if you could answer like pretty briefly, uh, like a CEO would like to hear very quickly why to choose you instead of a competitor solution. Because we, are, we, because we are easier to adopt and to customize on your on your workflows. Perfect. This is why. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's, uh, first question is, uh, so basically I have two questions. About money, not so much. The first question, when it will uh, start working? 
And mm -hmm. next question, I have tried other solutions like SAP and Odoo, like I see here, mm -hmm. but uh, SAP was uh, too complex and too expensive and Odoo was too simple and I cannot use it. Mm -hmm. So I need some something that, it, that can really work. Mm -hmm. That is the main reason that uh, our clients like Liv, you said, are using uh, uh, WhatsApp groups and uh, Excel files mm -hmm. and uh, paper documents because you can make those uh, WhatsApp groups and uh, paper document and Excel files uh, to work on your workflows. If they don't work on your workflows and exactly on your workflows, they don't work at all. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have customers that are they have both uh, SAP. I uh, I went uh, Friday with uh, with Ciprian, our uh, uh, sales uh, uh, sales manager, to a customer that uh, paid. I don't know if I can say that uh, fifteen thousand uh, euros for a SAP solution. He said, "Okay, I bought this, and uh, it it stays on with the server in my uh, garage because." I need to set it up. It's yeah. uh, it's very expensive to set it up, and it's it needs to be mobile first. If it's not mm -hmm. mobile first for the people working on the field, mm -hmm. like also the question for uh, SAP, and there are many yeah. more. I we uh, we replaced uh, SAP. We uh, replaced uh, Archibus. We replaced lots of uh, hand solution because they the customers bought them. But after one year or two year or maybe 10 years, they mm. realized, okay, so if I want to customize it on my own mm. workflows, yeah. maybe let's say with 1 million euro, I can do it and it will take me uh, two years. Mm. And also Odoo, because I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm seeing more and more this uh, uh, Odoo, Odoo and uh, all, all the other modules uh, from uh, ERPs. All the ERPs on the market have, uh, okay, not all, but most, most of them, including uh, Pluriva, uh, mm -hmm. including uh, Soft One, including, uh, you name it, they have a maintenance module or field service, or mm -hmm. they call it, uh, but in uh, order to make it work, you have to spend two years, like uh, one company spent, to have it uh, uh functional for your field teams and you say uh, and they they can come to you and in the end they say okay but you need to buy tablets you cannot use it on uh, on the uh, small factor screen of your uh, mobile yeah. or uh, you they uh, they say to you, okay you will uh, need to 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 let your technician not mm -hmm. to mention the cleaning people uh, use uh, uh, these uh, 15 fields or uh... you know, if, I, if I interrupt you for a second so um, just I think one thing that our investors are very very interested in is um, what exit opportunities do you guys see for your business obviously do you see do you see yourself you know going IPO do you see yourself being acquired by a strategic investor what do you see so in in uh, let, let's say uh, starting from this is a uh, my uh, our thoughts so basically i think in the end uh, all these uh, bigger companies like uh, sap and uh, archibus and uh, Odoo is not so big but let's say these big companies will uh, not that will get annoyed by by us but we'll see okay so we have a player in the mid market that is being that has uh, uh, make our clients replace our uh, solution. What should we do? Pay them, I don't know, a uh, couple of uh, uh, tens of uh, millions of euro or continue to lose money and not only to them because I'm sure that in two or three years uh, <coughs> more and more players like us will yeah. appear. Yeah. So I think number one is being acquired by a, a top player that uh, has a solution, high-end solution in the field service market. The second 
would be being acquired by a, a private equity, by a, a, a VC fund. Okay. And uh, the third, I don't know, maybe by another software provider mm. uh, that says, okay, I don't have uh, any solution in this field. <clears throat> this sounds like a great uh, area to have a solution. Let's buy uh, these guys and uh, uh, I don't know, uh, make Mm-hmm. Their solution also uh, available for the high end because I and believe just do you guys I mean if and, and uh, this is completely speculating right and we got a question from the audience as well is it do you guys have any names that that come to your mind when you say somebody could buy you I mean, who would be the most likely oh. that could be to buy you? Uh, I, I think this, if I may, all these questions are connected and the, the, the SAP question was a perfect question and, and thanks, uh, thank you. The same user came back with the following question right now about the name. Yes. Uh, so first of all, the, uh, let's get back to the SAP client, right? That's usually a huge corporation, a big company that can afford millions uh, to spend millions on software. And usually they implemented SAP not for the field service management. They implemented SAP because they needed a full blown ERP, right? with accounting and, 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 and assets and stocks and management, everything, financial modules, reporting. Uh, field service module is just something on the side that was not, not that was probably not a reason to, to implement SAP or Oracle or you name another competitor. And since just activating that module, as, as Jon pointed out, costs probably five times, well, more than that, than implementing our solution, who, by the way, integrate seamlessly and will integrate seamlessly with, with most of, the, of these big vendors, that's a no brainer, right? Uh, uh, <clears throat> customizing something like SAP costs like a lot, a lot, right? Like the development hours uh, already costs would be, you know, um, believe you that. orders of magnitudes more than implementing our solution. And since uh, field service management is not, not SAP's or Oracle's uh, core business, we're going to do it better because it's our core business and, and we, we can be more flexible, we can be more customizable and, and cheaper and easier to implement, obviously. And uh, going back to why SAP or Oracle or somebody else would buy us, um, this is a great thing that we, we discovered together with Mihai during a, um, one of our, our sales workshops, sales strategy workshop. Um, it's all a game of strategy. These players, these big players, they, 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 they play for the big corporations. Uh, they are aware of the mid-market and the dangers that come from you know, competitors in the mid-market, but that's not never their strong field, right? However, just to keep that mid-market segment blocked, they will probably buy one of the leaders there. So as, for instance, SAP would buy uh, the emerging leader there so that Oracle doesn't go in that market. Mm-hmm. It's, just, it's a game of chess between them. It's a strategy. And uh, <clears throat> companies like ours or, or will probably be important um, yeah. pieces in that puzzle. Uh, th- this is why the SAP question was a great one. And thanks uh, for asking that, by the way. Yeah, well, thanks to the audience. It was a really good questions. Um, just because we're approaching the top of the hour, I guess you would have to do some work in developing a bit more of the API you guys have planned so that we you go a bit enterprise from that perspective, because there are... Yeah. That, that, that's part of the strategy. Uh, we're not competing with a, with a FSS, FSM module in, in, uh, in Oracle or in SAP. We're going to connect to them, right? Because we're, we're cheaper, we're easier to install, uh, more customizable. And if we can talk to the to SAP or other systems, the ERP systems that our clients already have installed, that's a killer combination. If you maintain that advantage, it's clear the advantage and I can maintain it as you go forward. Mm. That's, uh, yeah. Anyway, okay, really appreciate your time. We're at the top of the hour. Um, so really, really thank you. And um, I wish you uh, uh, good luck uh, from now on with, with the business. Um, I remember, uh, I remind the, our audience here um, that, you know, we, we started we started the campaign um, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Also, I remind you that we will have a, a quick Blitz Anonymous survey at the, uh, if, if you would invest or not in, 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 um, in this uh, com- company. So please express your vote. Uh, we're very, very keen to, to hear uh, what's your opinion. And we obviously expect you tomorrow in the platform um, to, to see if you would like to invest. 
So thank you, uh, thank you, Jan. Thank you, Liviu. Thank you, the audience. Appreciate your time, um, and I see you soon. Laurencio, thank you for having us, and and we're not going to disappear. We're still going to be on the platform. We have uh, we can answer questions there, and and we're also reachable via LinkedIn if anyone needs you know uh, a deeper dive into our product. We're always online. All right. Thank well, you. Also, of course, if there, uh, I saw that uh, Yunus Zaharia asked uh, if they can, uh, if they want, uh, we can arrange for a demo, product demo. It's not a problem. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Oh, yeah, gentlemen, have a good uh, Monday afternoon and uh, have a Thank good you. day. All right. Bye. Bye.